In September, the Department of Energy took an unprecedented decision by limiting the fuel price hike to only 5 cents a litre. But experts feel that this is only delaying the inevitable. The AA has predicted a massive price hike in October that will leave motorists with a very bad taste in their mouths. To find out more, we're now chatting to Leighton Beard from the Automobile Association of South Africa. Leighton, thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's very good to be with you. Now, how exactly did the government limit the price hike in September? Yeah, I think there's still a little bit of confusion as to exactly how that uh, was absorbed. Um, when we look at the um, predicted increase for uh, uh, for September, we were looking at around a 27 centiliter increase. Um, and as we know, the um, the eventual increase was closer to around five cents. So government um, really absorbed around 20 cents of that increase. Now, the, um, the theory is, is that either government absorbed it through some fund that they have to to fund that uh, or that the oil companies have actually absorbed that money so it's still unclear exactly how that money was absorbed and how that intervention was put into place um, but uh, you know certainly from the AA's point of view even though it was an intervention that uh, requires a little bit more explaining we are certainly very happy that uh, at least for September there was some respite and relief for motorists um, who are unfortunately facing some very serious increases uh, going forward Please share your fuel price predictions for October 2018. So in the middle of the month, we predicted that petrol would be increasing by around 1 rand 12 to 1 rand 15 uh, cents a litre. Um, uh, significantly, diesel would be increasing by about 1 rand 38 uh, and illuminating paraffin also by about 1 rand 30. And these are very, very big numbers, uh, monster increases, if you will. Um, and the reason for that really is twofold. One, the rand really weakened significantly against the dollar, um, specifically in the beginning of the month. And that led us to this picture that we're seeing uh, mid-month of some very serious increases. Um, and although we've seen now that the um, that international uh, currency rates have eased a little in terms of how South Africa is affected, uh, we have seen, unfortunately, an uptick in the price of international petroleum. So while the two factors that contribute to to fuel in South Africa are obviously the international petroleum prices and the RAND US dollar exchange rate. What we would have liked to have seen, obviously, is that both of these um, increase, uh, you know, in terms of the RAND US dollar exchange rate, that the RAND's uh, strength against the dollar increases uh, and that international petroleum prices decrease. While the RAND has decreased, international petroleum prices unfortunately have increased. So at the moment, looking at October, we're probably still looking at about a RAND a litre increases across the board for diesel and for, uh, and for petrol, um, it's not a pretty picture um, and unfortunately um, the RAND will have to strengthen significantly in the next couple of days for that picture to change. Now is there light at the end of this very dark tunnel? Do you expect a price drop in the next few months? <laughs> You know, when we look at the, uh, the exchange rate at the beginning of the month, it's around uh, 14 rand 50 to the US dollar. Then middle of the month, we're looking at around 15 rand 20. Uh, come end of the month, we're looking again at around 14 rand 50. Um, so to predict what's going to happen with the rand against the US dollar is n near impossible. Um, when it comes to uh, international petroleum prices, a similar picture. Um, you know, one day they are pretty reasonable, the next day they're low, the next day they're high. So to, to establish exactly what's going to happen with those two factors uh, on a daily basis is quite tricky. To establish what's going to happen with those on a weekly basis is even trickier. And then on a month basis is probably the most trickiest. And then looking two or three months ahead is vir virtually impossible. And to speculate exactly what's going to happen in uh, November, December, January uh, would not only be um, reckless uh, from the AA's point of view, um, it would mean nothing because all of those prices would change uh, when the time came for those prices to be adjusted. So I think at the moment, the picture isn't very good. I think going into October, we are expecting a very significant increase. Um, if the RAND doesn't appreciate uh, against the greenback, um, you know, the picture could look the same going into November. Finally, do you have any tips for motorists to save on their fuel costs? 
you know, we give a lot of tips and a, and a lot of times people look at us and they say, you know, how, how the heck can you give us those tips? They're just not workable. But, um, you know, one of the things we would say to people first off is make sure your car's in a good working condition. If your car's working properly, if your tires are aligned and balanced properly, and if the car's mechanically sound, it's going to use the correct amount of fuel. So keep your car serviced, make sure your tires are in a good condition, make sure they're balanced and aligned. Um, and on the road, your car's in good nick. Uh, you know, that's the first most important thing you need to do if you are in a position to carpool that is obviously something that we would suggest you do um, if you are going to do that to speak to your insurer first and alert them to the fact that you will be carpooling it does spread the cost a little bit if you are able to make use of public transport where it is available reliable and cheaper than using your own fuel that is something you need to research and you can consider doing that if you are able to leave for work a little earlier in the morning uh, and leave uh, uh, work for home a little earlier in the afternoon and or, or later in the morning and leave later from work um, to avoid that uh, stop start traffic jam every morning that is something you can consider um, and then one final thing obviously is you know drive your car properly the, the harder you brake the more petrol you use the more you rev your vehicle the more petrol you use the faster you go if you use your air conditioner if you are towing another vehicle um, all of these things contribute to fuel consumption so consider that and then perhaps the last thing is that if you can avoid using your vehicle for short trips short trips around the corner to the shops uh, short trips uh, you know wherever that you can either make by either walking or even cycling to these destinations, then that may be something that you can consider. Will these solutions work for everybody? Probably not, but it is something that people can consider. And then I think, obviously, um, budget uh, according to the petrol price. Don't think that uh, you are going to make it on the same amount of money that you did the last month. It's not going to happen. The voice there of Leighton Beard from the Automobile Association of South Africa. Leighton, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Being good speaking to you.